Hello and welcome student to the Rashmi's classes. Today we'll discuss on the LTE drive test parameter. So let's get started. LTE drive test parameters. 1. RSRP, reference signal received power. 2. RSRQ, reference signal received quality. 3. RSSI, received signal strength indicator. 4. SINR, signal to interference noise ratio. 5. CQI, channel quality index. 6. PCI, physical cell identity. 7. Blur, block error ratio. 8. DL throughput, downlink throughput. 9. UL throughput, uplink throughput. 1. RSRP. RSRP, the average power received from a single reference signal, and its typical range is around minus 44 dBm, good, to minus 140 dBm, bad. RSRP, dBm, equals RSSI, dBm, 10 asterisk log, 12 asterisk N. 2. RSRQ. RSRQ, indicates quality of the received signal, and its range is typically minus 19.5 decibels, bad, to minus 3 decibels, good. RSRQ equals NPRB, RSRP, A Ultra Carrier, RSSI. Reference signal received quality, RSRQ, is defined as the ratio N times RSRP, A Ultra Carrier, RSSI. Where N is the number of RBs of the A Ultra Carrier, RSSI measurement bandwidth. The measurements in the numerator and denominator shall be made over the same set of resource blocks. 3. RSSI RSSI represents the entire received power including the wanted power from the serving cell as well as all co-channel power and other sources of noise and it is related to the above parameters through the following formula. RSRQ equals N, RSRP, RSSI where n is the number of resource blocks of the A Ultra Carrier RSSI measurement bandwidth. RSSI, Received Signal Strength Indicator, is a parameter which provides information about total received wideband power, measure in all symbols, including all interference and thermal noise. RSSI is not reported to A node B by UE. It can simply be computed from RSRQ and RSRP that are, instead, reported by UE. RSSI equals wideband power equals noise plus serving cell power plus interference power. So, without noise and interference, we have that 100% DLPRB activity, RSSI equals 12 asterisk NRSRP. Where? 1. RSRP is the received power of 1 RE, 3 GPP definition, average of power levels received across all reference signal symbols within the considered measurement frequency bandwidth. 2. RSSI is measured over the entire bandwidth. 3. N, number of RBs across the RSSI, is measured and depends on the BW. 4. SINR. SINR is the reference value used in the system simulation and can be defined. 1. Wide band SINR. 2. SINR for a specific subcarriers, or for a specific resource elements. All measured over the same bandwidth. SINR equals S, I plus N. Chart that shows what values are considered good and bad for the LTE signal strength values. 5. CQI. The channel quality indicator, CQI, contains information sent from a UE to the E node B to indicate a suitable downlink transmission data rate, i.e., a modulation and coding scheme, MCS, value. CQI is a 4-bit integer and is based on the observed signal to interference plus noise ratio, SINR, at the UE. The CQI estimation process takes into account the UE capability such as the number of antennas and the type of receiver used for detection. This is important since for the same SINR value the MCS level that can be supported by a UE depends on these various UE capabilities, which needs to be taken into account in order for the E node B to select an optimum MCS level for the transmission. The CQI reported values are used by the E node B for downlink scheduling and link adaptation, 
which are important features of LTE. In LTE, there are 15 different CQI values ranging from 1 to 15 and mapping between CQI and modulation scheme, transport block size is defined as follows. 6. PCI. Cell ID sets the physical, phi, layer cell ID. This phi layer cell ID determines the cell ID group and cell ID sector. There are 168 possible cell ID groups and 3 possible cell ID sectors, Therefore, there are 3168 equals 504 possible phi layer cell IDs. When cell ID is set to auto, the demodulator will automatically detect the cell ID. When cell ID is set to manual, the phi layer cell ID must be specified for successful demodulation. The physical layer cell id can be calculated from the following formula. Phi layer cell id equals 3 asterisk, cell ID group, plus cell ID sector. When sync type is set to CRS, the cell ID auto selection will be disabled, and cell ID must be specified manually. This is because the demodulator needs to know the values of the CRS sequence to use for synchronization and because cell ID determines these values. CRS PRS for more information. 7. BLER. 3GPPTS 34.121. F6.1, 1 defines block error ratio, BLER, as follows, a block error ratio is defined as the ratio of the number of erroneous blocks received to the total number of blocks sent. An erroneous block is defined as a transport block, the cyclic redundancy check, CRC, of which is wrong. 8 ninths. DL, old throughput. Assume a 2 times 5 MHz LTE system. We first calculate the number of resource elements, re, in a subframe, a subframe is 1 millisecond. 12 subcarriers x7 OFDMA symbols x25 resource blocks x2 slots equals 4200 res. Then we calculate the data rate assuming 64 QAM with no coding, 64 QAM is the highest modulation for downlink LTE. 6 bits per 64 QAM symbol x 4200 res, 1 millisecond equals 25.2 megabits per second. The MIMO data rate is then 2 by 25.2 equals 50.4 megabits per second. We now have to subtract the overhead related to control signaling such as PDCCH and PBCH channels, reference and synchronization signals, and coding. These are estimated as follows. PDCCH channel can take 1 to 3 symbols out of 14 in a subframe. Assuming that on average it is 2.5 symbols, the amount of overhead due to PDCCH becomes 2.5, 14 equals 17.86%. Downlink RS signal uses 4 symbols in every third subcarrier resulting in 16336 equals 4.76% overhead for 2 times 2 MIMO configuration. The other channels, PSS, SSS, PBCH, PCFICH, Fitch, added together amount to approximately 2.6% of overhead. The total approximate overhead for the 5 MHz channel is 17.86% plus 4.76% plus 2.6% equals 25.22%. The peak data rate is then 0. 75 times 50.4 megabits per second equals 37.8 megabits per second. Note that the uplink would have lower throughput because the modulation scheme for most device classes is 16 QAM in SISO mode only. There is another technique to calculate the peak capacity which I include here as well for a 2 times 20 MHz LTE system with 4 times 4 MIMO configuration and 64 QAM code rate 1. Downlink data rate. Pilot overhead, 4 TX antennas, equals 14.29%. Common channel overhead, adequate to serve 1 UE, subframe, equals 10%. CP overhead equals 6.66%. Guard band overhead equals 10%. Downlink data rate equals 4 by 6 bits per second per hertz by 20 megahertz by, 1 minus 14.29%, x, 1 to 10%, x, 1 minus 6.66%, x, 
1 to 10 percent equals 298 megabits per second uplink data rate 1 tx antenna no memo 64 qam code rate 1 note that typical ues can support only 16 qam pilot overhead equals 14.3 percent random access overhead equals 0.625 percent cp overhead equals 6.66 percent guard band overhead equals 10 percent uplink data rate equals 1 asterisk 6 bits per second per hertz by 20 megahertz by 1 minus 14.29 percent x 1 minus 0.625 percent x 1 minus 6.66 percent x 1 to 10 percent equals 82 megabits per second alternative to these methods one can refer to 3gpp document 36.213 table 7.1.7.121 table 7.1.7.2.121 and table 7.1.7.2.221 for more accurate calculations of capacity to conclude the lte capacity depends on the following channel bandwidth network loading number of subscribers in a cell which impacts the overhead the configuration and capability of the system whether it's 2 times 2 memo siso and the mcs scheme thanks for watching the video please like share and subscribe this channel thanks rashmi's classes